Hey guys, what's going on? So we got some cool news today, or rather a couple days ago now, I'm a little bit late to the punch, but we're going to be getting three new Star Wars games. I'm going to read the write-up and uh, give you my thoughts on it. I'm pretty excited. So the first one, just right off the bat, is going to be Jedi Fallen Order 2, which Fallen Order isn't the actual name of the series, Jedi is. So obviously, you know, this kind of, I think, dispels a lot of the rumors about a, you know, covering a dark side character or maybe, you know, covering Vader, unless we get like side quests in there. Maybe, you know, covering Trilla's story or something, which she's not really a dark side character all that much anymore. So, anyways, Electronic Arts and Lucasfilm Games announced today that they will join forces once again for three new Star Wars titles. The next title in the Star Wars Jedi franchise, a strategy game, and a first-person shooter game, all currently in development from Respawn Entertainment. I think Respawn is a great company. I think they did a great job with their previous games. And we have some more teams in this as well. So, obviously, Jedi Fallen Order 2, <clears throat> that's going to take place most likely after... Uh, Cal Kestis' story, unless that's going to be explained in live action or something like that. But a strategy game I'm really excited for because I loved Empire at War, and I feel like if they're going to make any sort of a strategy game, they could just revamp that game or uh, broaden it or enhance it or make something just as good. I was a big fan of Age of Empires and uh, Age, Age of Mythology as a kid anyway, so I love those kind of games. And I think it would be really fun to play uh, with the community, like a whole bunch of us just getting together and, you know, creating like a huge army or something and fighting the rest. So a first person shooter is the third title in development. This most likely, well, maybe not most likely, but my hopes are that we're going to be getting a clone commando, Republic commando type of game like we got a few decades ago. I hope that it's not a revamp. I hope that they're going to create something from scratch, uh, maybe following the clones during Order 66 or going into Order 66 or uh, who knows really what, but Something with today's graphics would be absolutely phenomenal. It's something I would love to see. Uh, shepherding the next installment in the Star Wars Jedi story is game director Stig Asmussen of Respawn, who I think he did Fallen Order, right? I remember that name. I think it was he was one of the guys that I emailed uh, when Fallen Order came out. And I was like, yo, can I play this game? Leads the development of Respawn Star Wars first person shooter, a new studio helmed by games industry veteran Greg will create the new Star Wars strategy game developed through a production collaboration between Respawn and Bit Reactor. Respawn will produce the new Star Wars strategy game while Bit Reactor leads development of the title. Okay. We are excited to continue working with the superbly talented teams at Respawn. VP Lucasfilm Games, Doug Riley. They have demonstrated excellence in telling epic Star Wars stories along with best in-class gameplay across different genres, and we are looking forward to bringing more amazing experiences to the galaxy far, far away. Building on the previous successes of our EA relationship, this new collaboration highlights the trust and mutual respect shared between the world-class teams at EA, Respawn, and Lucasfilm Games, Walt Disney Games, SVP. Fostered by the expertise and passion within each team, <laughs> EA's passion for the money, will create thrilling original games for diverse audiences across the Star Wars galaxy. Working with Lucasfilm Games on a new FPS in the Star Wars galaxy is a dream come true for me, as this is a story I have always wanted to tell, said Hirschman. Hirschman previously worked as VP for development of development for at LucasArts. So this first person shooter, I feel like is going to be probably better than like any other Star Wars game it's going to be out even better than Fallen Order, most likely. If this guy was the for former VP of LucasArts, I mean, this could be anything from like Bounty Hunter with Django Fett to maybe like a Mandalorian type of game to, uh, yeah, like a clone trooper type of game. Who knows? Vince Sampella, group GM and founder of Respawn, will oversee this new phase of EA's relationship with Lucasfilm, building on Respawn's award-winning history in game development and expertise in telling compelling Star Wars stories. We are huge fans of Star Wars and we are thrilled to work with Lucasfilm Games on new titles that we have wanted to make for years, said Zempella. If you want to make great Star Wars games, you should come join us on our journey. Cool, okay, well, yeah, first of all, my question is, is Fallen Order taking place right after Fallen Order 1? Like, is Jedi 2 taking place after Fallen Order? Or are we getting a completely different story, maybe covering someone else's legacy, and then we'll get Cal Kestis continued in, uh, you know, uh, The Mandalorian or in... Um, Book of Boba Fett or something, maybe in the next episode with Luke Skywalker. That'd be cool. Maybe he's like Luke's, um, you know, assistant or, or helping him find other Force sensitives through the galaxy. I think that'd be neat. That would like kind of trail off of the end of Fallen Order. You know, mind you, there'd be like <laughs> like a 30 year gap or something. 20 to 25 year gap. Um, and he would be like 40 now, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, the 
first person shooter is probably what I'm most excited for. And of course, the strategy game is going to be something that's just, you know, you just call up some buddies or, you know, you hit up a live stream and we just get a bunch of viewers in and subscribers in and uh, we make a team and play a bunch of different games uh, with new people coming in. I think that would be cool. I think that would be really fun. That's definitely, I, I spent a lot of hours with Empire at War as a kid. So this is great. Looks like we're getting new games as well as Star Wars Eclipse, as well as uh, the KOTOR remake. And is there anything else I'm leaving out? I think those are most of the games that we're getting, right? Anyways, this is great. Cool. Uh, no update as to when these are going to be released. I'm thinking probably 2024 or something like that. Uh, at the very earliest, just before that. So maybe like December of 2023. Uh, I, or, you know, 2024 is even too early. Maybe 2025. We do know that they have movies and stuff planned until, what they say, 2026 or something? Or 2027? So, obviously their slate is hopefully full until then, but we'll see what goes on, we'll see what these games are all about, and uh, you know me, I love playing video games, I have since I was a kid, and another Star Wars game would be awesome, especially if it's going to be helmed by the VP of LucasArts. It doesn't get much better than that, I think those guys really know the heart of Star Wars with what George Lucas started, and they know how to make really good games, so, really difficult games too. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Subscribe to my gaming channel where I'll be playing a lot of these games. It's called Theories Arcade, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you always.